All right, time now for Consumer Confidential. With LA Times columnist David Lazarus, we have budget cutbacks we cut out. Yet. Yes, we well, usually wait music, for that, right? Yeah. No, shh. I'm honestly. A painful side. I can't work like this. <laughs> <laughs> These things happen. Happy Monday. Let's talk about what retailers are letting people keep their products and not return them. That's interesting. It is interesting, and it's a very ominous sign for the retail world because, well, obviously they're basically just giving away money at this point. Now, we've talked about how retailers are completely overwhelmed by excess inventory. This after the pandemic, and now facing other challenges in the retail world. So, some of the big names out there have adopted a new unfortunate policy of telling people who want to return unwanted goods, ah, go ahead and keep it, and here's your refund anyway. Who's doing this? Some of the big dogs out there Target, Walmart, Gap, American Eagle Outfitters. They're saying, yeah, we just don't have the space to take back your returns, so just hang on to it. It's a huge issue for retailers who are now trying to move merch as fast as they can before the back to school sales start and then the holiday sales start, and they just don't have enough room for the inventory that's coming in, and hence you get to a policy like this. Great for shoppers, make no mistake, but bad, bad news not just for the retailers, but also for their shareholders because retailers, to move that merch, are now offering big, big discounts to clear off the shelves. So, again, great for you. Enjoy it while it lasts, but it won't be forever. All right, speaking of returns, Amazon's ebook return policy uh, angering a lot of authors out there. And I find this to be fascinating. We're not just talking about the big name authors, we're talking about a lot of the self published authors who now make up a huge chunk of the digital ebook world. And the problem here is Amazon's return policy for ebooks. Amazon says you can return. Uh, any ebook that you purchase, quote unquote, accidentally within seven days of the purchase. As it turns out, though, a lot of us readers can blow through a book in well under a week, which means an, a growing number of people are now buying ebooks and then returning them as accidental purchases, purchases within a week. They get their full money back, and for the author, that means they have to give up any royalties from the sale. Self published authors are calling on Amazon to change this. What they'd like to see instead is a a policy, a reasonable one, I think, that Amazon can look at any returned ebook and see if it was read, at least partially. The authors are saying that if an ebook has been read at least 20%, no, you can't return it and you can't get your money back. Again, that sounds like a reasonable thing to say if the, the deciding thing here is that the purchase was accidental. If it was accidental, you didn't read 20% of it, let's face it. Amazon, for its part, says it welcomes such feedback and it will look into the matter. All right, and then this guy was a visionary in the eyeglass fashion industry. Visionary is true. There are some other words that come to mind as well. We're talking about Leonardo Del Vecchio, who is the chairman of Paris based and Italy centered. Essilor Luxottica. He passed away, according to his company, at the, the age of 87 today. Now, if you've never heard of him or never heard of Essilor Luxottica, you certainly know. What this company is offering out there. It is the largest provider of eyeglass frames. They either own or control a variety of brands, including Armani, Brooks Brothers, Burberry, Chanel, Coach, Oakley, Oliver Peoples, Polo, and Ray Ban. They are also the largest maker and distributor of lenses, including brands like Verilux, Crizal, Eisen, Foster Grant, and Transitions, the ones that darken. And as if that wasn't enough, Essilor Luxottica also owns or operates lenses. Lens Crafters, Pearl Vision, <clears throat> Sunglass Hut, Target Optical, iBuy Direct, and Frames Direct, and they control the iMed Vision Plan. What does that mean? Here's one example. I'm wearing Ray-Ban frames, obviously from Essilor Luxottica. They've got uh, 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 Verilux lenses in them, also from Essilor Luxottica, which I purchased with my iMed Vision Plan, also from Essilor Luxottica. They listed for 800 bucks. With the Vision Plan discount, they sold for a bit over $400. I asked one of my sources, the founder of Lens Crafters, how much of these glasses actually cost to make? $25. How's that for a markup? Wow. I'll have more of this uh, online at ktla.com mm -hmm. in just a few minutes. Interesting. And I was complaining the price of these at the drugstore. $29.99. Like and, and you have all the style you purchased, my friend. <laughs>